Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look how to add geometrical shapes to a leaflet map and this is going to be the final outcome. I will show you all the geometrical shapes which you can add lines, you can add circle, you can add polygons or you can add rectangles. You can even have a circle which has a pop-up or any, or any figure basically that has a pop-up by defining the pop-up as we have previously seen in another video that I've uploaded. So I got this example from uh, the very good documentation of uh, Reflect, uh, uh, Leaflet React. And uh, the only problem is that this documentation here is written for a state component and many of you are going to use uh, functional components so this is where i get it from so Re react leaflet examples and uh, vector layers so this is the example that i'm going to show you today and how to add all these uh, rectangles and lines but uh, without any further ado let's just go back here let's uh, reset uh, the um, code to the original version and then let's see step by step uh, what do we need to do to um, add all these shapes uh, to our map uh, if you have looked at my previous video how to get started so we just revert back uh, to the uh, previous version of the file so we are right here center in singapore so what we're going to do is uh, first uh, we are going to change uh, the location of the map uh, or the position of the map it doesn't really, this doesn't really matter because uh, it's okay, you can use any position or any location that you want to. It's just this line and all these, lo and all these locations uh, are uh, um, referring to the latitude and longitude of London. So we're going to define the center of the map, uh, or actually let me just uh, define here in the position. So we're going to change the position and now our map uh, is going to be showing the city of London. We are going to actually increase the height as well of the um, uh, map. Um, so we're going to change it to 700, so it's going to be slightly easier to see. And finally, we're going to change the zoom, and we're going to zoom in a little bit more because we just we want to show all these figures. Okay. So. The simpler one to add out of all of them is the circle. Okay, how can we add that? We can add and we can import here from React Leaflet. We can import circle. And now that we have imported, we can go down here and we can type circle. It has to be with the capital because it's a React Leaflet component. And which information do we need to pass in? Well, we need to pass in information about the center. So the center, we're going to center it in the position of the map. So like the center position of the map. So that's it. We're going to get an error, of course, because we have not closed this tag. And another information that is actually missing here is the, um, is the radius. Okay. So we're going to add the radius equal to for instance, 200, and then we save it. Sorry, the, the problem here is that uh, my ID is adding automatically this uh, uh, double curly bracket, uh, but you just need the one, in fact, uh, and this, this is our circle. So we can increase the size of the circle by just changing the radius, and if you want to, you can add a pop-up using the circle uh, maker, okay? So let's do that. So this is our circle. So let's see the other uh, type of circle that we can create. And we can use this circle maker. So we are going to import that. So we are going to click circle maker here. So it's going to import it automatically from React Leaflet. And what do we need to specify? Well, we need to specify the center and the radius uh, as uh, previously. So that doesn't really change. So same thing here. But then we just close this tag and inside here, because we are using circle maker, we can actually define a pop-up. So of course we will need to import the pop-up from React Leaflet. And inside the pop-up, we can actually write the, the tag that we want to show. So we say this is our pop-up. 
Okay, we save it. So now the previous circle has uh, disappeared, and this is our uh, this is our uh, uh, circle. But we want to change the radius in this case. So we change the radius. Okay, so this is our radius, and this is our pop-up. Okay, so this is going to show us uh, our um, circle, but we are actually able also to add a pop-up message inside. So now you must be wondering why we had a different behavior. So for instance, why do we get a circle which is almost the same size if here we specify 600 and here we specify a radius of 20? So this doesn't really make much sense. Okay, so in order to better understand this, we need to go and have a look at the uh, leaflet. So you can go on React leaflet, but then eventually you are going to be redirected to leaflet documentation. So the circle itself, uh, the input of the radius is actually the radius, which is a number, which is the radius of the, side, the circle. Sorry, let me zoom in. So the radius of the circle in meters, okay? which differs from circle maker, because if you look at circle maker and you click here, the radius is the radius of the circle in pixel. So that's why we get a different behavior, okay? So as we can see, our screen is roughly six, right now our map is 600 pixel height. So if here we specify 500, we are going to get a, a a bigger circle okay so is uh, um, is actually going to be that these one are actually pixels and uh, to some extent i'm not understanding ah okay yeah, yeah of course because this is a radius so this is the diameter of course this is uh, 700 is the whole height of the map uh, and here we are specifying the radius uh, so if you're specifying uh, a radius of 350 now our circle maker should be as big as uh, the, um, the map, exactly, so everything is okay. But for circle, is actually a radius in meter, so this is actually specifying how many meters uh, are there. So just keep in mind that you're going to have a different behavior, whether you're going to use circle, which, uh, uh, let me change uh, the color for you, and uh, so it's going to be easier to see which one is which. So we're going, we can change the color by just saying color red. So this red circle is in meters, the blue circle is in pixel, okay? So just keep that in mind. And when we are using this circle maker, so let's change it back. So inside here, we can even have a pop-up. So wherever the user clicks, if we are inside the circle, this pop-up is coming up, and here we can change the text of the pop-up, okay? So now we can also add, so let's get rid of these two circles and we are going to add a polyline, okay? So in this case, we're going to add a simple polyline. How can we do that? Well, we can just import the polyline. Here we are. And we have to import it from React Leaflet. Just keep in mind that if you are not using these, uh, um, these things that you have imported, you can actually remove them, so it's going to be easier, it's going to be more lightweight your application. So just don't import unnecessary things when you eventually deploy the application. Right now we are going to keep them all just because I want to show you, uh, I want to leave them here in the code and you can use them later on. So we can specify the color and uh, I'm not going to specify the color, but I'm going to specify the position. And the position is going to take as an input a polyline, okay? which is a variable that we are going to define in a second, and we have to close this tag, okay? So now we need to define our polyline. Our polyline, we're going to define it up here. You can define it outside the function. So we can define it as a constant. And what do we need to pass? It's going to be a, a, a polyline, poly, line okay so it's going to be an array of array where each array inside here so let me just put it in a new line so it's going to be easier to read is going to be one point latitude and longitude so the first point is going to be 
I'm just copying these values. So let me just copy these values here. So I'm going to be able to show you the line. So if we save and is not defined because I'm sure I've misspelled. Yes, exactly. So if you're going to save it again, now we should see our line. So we just have to put the polyline, uh, but we are still getting an error. So let me just fix it in a second. Okay, it was just my error because it shouldn't be position, but should be positions with the S plural. Sorry for that. So now if we um, save it, the file, then it's going to auto reload and this is our is going to be our line. And for instance, if you want to add an additional point, we can just simply add an additional point and let's put minus 0.2. And as you can see, it has added a uh, an additional point so it's going up to here so let's add uh, let's just change it a bit uh, just to show you that uh, is automatically changed okay so this is our line which is now going uh, down here so probably should be like close okay so now we have our line that we have added so our polyline let's see what we can also do so we can add a polyline inside here. So if you want to add two lines, we can still use the polyline as we define here. But in this case, so let me first define the points. Um, so if you want to add a multi polyline, in this case, we just have to nest more arrays inside. So let me just copy it here for a second. And let's see, so we have an array which contains uh, two arrays, one and two, and each array contains latitude and longitude of the polyline, okay? So let's just go back here. So position, we delete this line because we don't want it to show it anymore. Save, uh, and the line is gone. Of course, no, because we just copied. So now the line is gone. And uh, inside here, we just have the multi-poly line, okay? We save it we have two lines of course if you want to change the color color equal to uh, red and we can change the color of both lines okay so here we have both lines and of course as we did before if you want to you can change the points and the changes will be reflected here on the map maybe uh, the change is not substantial yes okay now you have seen that uh, it has actually changed it uh, significantly okay so these are the two polyline that we just have defined what else can we add we can add polygons okay so let's just go and add a polygon so again i will uh, uh, first uh, create the uh, variable which we call it polygon in this case uh, is uh, pretty simple because we have an array which inside contains uh, three points because our polygon has three points in this case we can have more points if you want to and we can actually show it later and uh, this is the polygon so these are the three points of our uh, geometrical shape and what do we need to do we type polygon okay and we import it from react react leaflet and what do we need to do we need to type and we need to pass the positions inside okay so as props, pass posi positions equal to a po polygon, okay? So import the variable and here is our polygon, okay? So if you want to add another, um, a, uh, another side of the polygon, uh, we can uh, simply add it by just changing these uh, values. So I'm going to be randomly guessing and let's see. Okay, perfect. Now is uh, is okay. So maybe we just want to put it one one five, uh, and maybe this one uh, uh, let's say fifty. Yes, perfect. So you can add as many sides as you want by adding a new point. So we have one, two, three, four points. Okay. So finally, uh, we can add multi polygon but uh, it's basically the same thing as the polyline. I will not show you that. So basically it's the same concept as here. So you wrap everything uh, something, or oh, let's 
uh, well, I will have to define the new one, but basically you need to wrap this one inside an array and add inside uh, another uh, um, set of points, uh, which is going to be the second polygon. But what I actually would like to show you is the rectangle, okay? So inside here, we are going to define two points for a rectangle. So we are going to define uh, like the, the two uh, sides. Uh, so we are going to define here the rectangle. So let me just show you. So we import these two different points, the latitude and longitude, latitude and longitude, and in here. So let me save so we get rid of this. And we have the rectangle. And then again, we have, so first we need to import it. We close the tag and then we type positions and then equal to rectangle. Okay, we save it. And now we're going to have our rectangle. And uh, what we did wrong is that in this case is not called uh, position, but it's called bounds. Okay, so if you want to show a rectangle, you don't have to show, uh, you don't have to type uh, positions, but instead uh, these changes to bounds. Okay, and you can find more information here on the leaflet documentation. So, for instance, uh, you can look for rectangle. A rectangle here and is going to explain exactly what we need to put so the rectangle ge geographical bounds and then you just put um, so as you can see here we have to pass bounds and we don't have to pass uh, positions okay so that's all for this video I hope you like this video please like and subscribe or just do something if you like the video or leave a comment down below in the comment section Thank you very much for listening.